hello 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 welcome to my channel my name is Darcy and today I know it looks like a mess but it's gonna get better um I wanted to show you how to get your the most from a 12 by 12 sheet of um, cardstock the uh, scrapbook paper that's the word I was pulling out things for when we decorate them I cut some out ahead of time and of course I um lost two of them already <laughs> but that's okay because I'm going to show you how to cut them out so I've actually figured out a few different ones the one I'm doing today is a little tag heavy <laughs> it's got a few tags but I know um I was watching I think it was her first or her second uh shabby dabby doo -dah, Tina her mask making and you know she was saying you know you don't want to use all your paper for one thing you want to kind of spread them out so you have different things of the same paper and so I thought well that'd be nice just kind of have a whole sheet of 12, 12 by 12 paper with things to use throughout just kind of spread them out mix and match with other things even so this is the one we're doing today and then I've got like tomorrow adds like a corner tuck or something maybe a Rita Donnie leaf flip and then the next time add something else and then a Hermelinda tag and a library card pocket depending on which sheet I choose but today I'm just gonna start with this first one which will give us two big tags small journaling card small tag small journaling card large journaling card two bottom pockets a side pocket and a what is it called belly belly band so that's what we're going to get all out of one 12 by 12 sheet with no waste so i have little markings here to remind me where i need to cut first i want to cut on these long lines first so like this will be the first cut then that one and then i can take these other sections and cut them down more so um i had a piece of not very heavy cardstock that I didn't love. Basically, look at it's got a rat all over it, which works for Halloween, but it's supposed to be a dormouse. It was from um, the Alice in Wonderland paper that I have, and it, it doesn't look like a dormouse to me. It looks like a um, looks like a rat. So I didn't care for it. So I just glued some of this other paper, which I'd like to use for tags, which is just you know just lightweight which you'd have to put on some kind of cardstock or anything and I won't back them until I know what they're going to be well like once I get them cut I can back the tags and journal cards but I don't need to back the pockets in the belly band see what I'm saying that's what I'm saying all right so really because I had it earlier here's my where's my paper cutter you think you know, you're gonna do a video about cutting paper that you would have your paper cutter ready. Oh my word. I did, I had it earlier. I had to have looked right at it. It was, cause I remember seeing my phone case, but I didn't see this sitting right next to my phone case. That is sad. All right. I have these out for decorating. Because I figured we can cut them and then we can do something that's fun with them. And so I grabbed out a bunch of fall type stuff. But I th I'm still thinking about if I want to get Shab... Uh, wait, who is it? My Porch Prince. Stephanie has a fussy cutting autumn, autumn pack, which I'm thinking about getting. We'll see. Okay, so our first cut is going to be one, two, three. I don't. Oh yeah, okay. It's going to be three inches. I need to cut off this little. My cardstock was just slightly. Really? That is supposed to be straight. Something is very wrong with one of my papers here. Something's wrong with something. Why is that so? None of that comes over on there, so why? All right, there we go. I don't know why the top, this is why I'm usually cutting from the bottom. 
This would be why. All right, come on. I just need a sliver. So if I cut from the top, it ends up being crooked. I don't, I don't know why. I just wanted to take off that sliver, which is bigger than. Yeah, putting a 12 by 12 piece of paper, gluing it on a 12 by 12 piece of paper is a challenge to get it all perfectly straight. And then you find out, oh, it's slightly larger. So that wasn't my fault. Spam. It's spam. They don't, they don't need me. All right, I think these flowers go in all kinds of different directions. All right, so three inches is our first cut. So our first cut is at three inches. And then we'll move this piece to the side so we can go ahead and cut up this one. So we want to cut three inches again. No, sorry, we want to cut four inches. <gasps> And then we'll end up with eight inches. Now, if you like your belly band to be more than eight inches, like eight and a half or nine, then make this three or three and a half inches. Um, you know, you can make it to suit you. So this is a journaling card, or if I put the things on, it could be a small tag. And then I'm gonna do an inch. Why am I, let me use my lines here because I don't press the top there. So now we have a belly band and a side pocket, which, okay, we're doing all right. I did use my Scotch Create glue and I tried to make sure I got double on there. Okay, so now we cut the three off of this side. So now we have left is this here. So now we want to cut it, we want to turn it. So now it's a long way so that we can cut it at six inches. And, okay, my line's straight there. I just have to double check my straightness on things. So now we have, now I'm gonna turn them back this way because this is the way my picture is. So now we have these two right here. So this one's really easy. We're just gonna go three, three, three. So let's start with that one. Super easy. So they're three inches. And you can um, cut them down to make mini tags if you wanted to. If you don't like the tags this big. So there's two three by six ones that I like to use for tags. And then this one, we're gonna cut at two inches. Yeah, since that's what it is. So we're gonna have a mini tag and another tag or journaling card. So now we're gonna cut this top bit. So I need one, two, three, four. I'm gonna cut it at four inches and we'll have our big, so I have it this way, this long way this way. And I'm gonna go to the four inch mark and cut four inches. So now we have a big journaling card, if that's what we choose to do for. And then I'm gonna turn it this way. So now it's, hold on, what is it? So it's six inches, so I want the long way this way, and then this is five inches. So I'm gonna do it where it's six inches long, and then I'm gonna move it over, and I'm gonna cut it at three inches. So it's five inches this way, and I'm cutting three inches this way, which gives me two bottom pockets. <clears throat> Now, later on in this series, I'm going to be doing some gusset pockets um, using the same paper, I think, so. But it won't be doubled like this because this is too thick to do the gusset pocket. What I like about, I think it's called a gusset pocket. What I like about that is you have the whole width of the pocket to put something in. So now we have like this mini journaling card. We can even put that on front of this to make a double pocket if we wanted to. Or we could use it as a tuck. We can use them for anything. So that is how I take a whole 12 by 12 sheet and turn it into, you know, no waste. And like I said, this one is kind of a tag, tag heavy, I actually wrote. So we have, give me journaling cards or tags. One, two, three, four, five, six journaling cards slash tags. This could be a side pocket or it could be a tall tag. 
and then the belly um, band and the bottom pockets. Tomorrow, um, and not tomorrow, but in the next video, I will have some um, corner tucks in the next one. There's a sneak peek at the next two days. And if you, um, I'm trying to find out what everybody, like, it's, it's what their must-haves are, what, what the most popular things are, so I can figure out what it is, like, how to get the most out of your 12 by 12, you know, by having what a lot of people like. Okay, so I'm going to start with, well, the belly band, I'm not good with belly bands. This does kind of have a direction. Yeah, it does, huh? All right. So, let's see. These are the pockets. This is a little mini tag, journaling card, and then, so we'll make two journaling cards and four tags, I did say it was, all right, and two pockets. So I might start with the biggest one and then I can put whatever my biggest, nope, that's too big. I'm gonna have to make a bigger card for that. Unless I make the journaling card this way, will it fit on there? No, not without sticking up. So I'm gonna have to make a big, big one for that one. Let's see. Got some mushrooms, some butterflies, my goth stencil, which just wants, to, I think the goth stencil wants to be in this. We'll figure it out. He's a little big for that. All right. So, get our, get our he's, I think we might put him on here because he's big. So, what can we back him with? If it's not progresso, I don't want to hear progresso, progressive, spam, again. Oh my goodness, why is, why is today like a heavy spam day? I don't understand. I just don't know. All right, I'm going to take a piece of this, I think. This is the, I think it's the Ossenberg. And did I ever find, there it is. I want one of my grungy numbers. Also, I wonder where I put my stamps from last night. Because you know I didn't put them away. Unless I did, which would be surprising. I mean, it'd be good, but it'd be surprising. All right, that's flowers and birds. That's butterflies. Maybe the mushrooms, although I have some fussy cut mushrooms, and those are flowers. Don't need those. You need to find a place for them, but I don't need them. Um, maybe I'll do a piece of this. Because I do have my other, um, what is it called? You can wait. What am I trying to say? Oh, my other tags that I'll be making, which um, if you watch my last video, I did a Monday night mashup. No, mixed media mashup. It just happens to be on Mondays. And I had a lot of fun doing that. So um, if we have time at the end of this video, I will go ahead and cut that one up. But it tends to take me a long time to decorate, and I may not even get all these decorated today. Not without doing a lot of pausing. Whew, make sure that I press play after the last pause. And I'm not good at pausing because I tend to forget to turn it back on is the problem. So, let's see. Is that gonna be too busy? Well, it still might end up being... Ooh thought behind the eight ball struck my head so I think I'm going to just go ahead and do the eight here and this is a uh, number grunge paper from shabby wait no from my porch print sorry I just like saying shabby dabby doodah apparently so any chance that I could say it I'll say it my porch prints is what this one is from so Stephanie has some Good digitals over there. She's on Etsy. And if you want to see stuff that people have made, she does have a Facebook group as well. 
And there we go. Thank you. And I think I want, I, want, I think I'll just use vintage photo for now because it's what I know. I just. At some point, I will add more black and stuff. But for right now, I'm good with just some brown. And I do have some navy blue mixed in, which is good because, you know, that's kind of like, you know, night sky kind of a deal. Wrench these up a little bit more. All right. So we have our cute little owl. And I think I'll do this. Kind of like that maybe and see how he looks except the eight all right i want to bring this over a little bit more so it shows more all right i could do this i know i can can't be that hard just layering some papers and stuff i think i might make it way harder i didn't need a bigger piece than that that might be part of my problem and i think i'll put the eight on the I want that on the side. I do. I know I do. Yeah, I like the the original fray right there is kind of fun looking. And I did copy dye this fabric. Maybe I'll do this this way. And then put the eight on the front. What do we think? Oh, you know what might help? I didn't have all that white showing on the outside. <laughs> that might help a lot. And I might even just grunge him up just a little bit just so that, um, it takes off a little bit of the shine. I know it'll make him a little bit darker, but if he's in the at night, he's gonna show up a little bit darker anyway. So, just to me, seems to take off a little bit of the shine and the brightness. If I can just do a little bit of that. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to overthink it. I'm gonna go ahead and put. I never remember to put that in there. Okay. <laughs> I go over it's not a big deal because the owl is going to be behind there all right so we got a piece of this fabric gail augustinelli says she likes it because of its fray ability basically this is going to go a little bit over the fabric so i think i will go ahead and use my fabric fix fabric fabric fix is what i have here And then I'll switch to my art glitter glue. Put that there. Put my and I just have a rubber a, a hair band around there. And oh, I forgot to put something around here. I'm trying to remember to just put it in the same place every time so I can find it hard to choose in a book which animal I wish I could find like two of every book that I find like this I wish I could just find two so I didn't have to choose and then some I just didn't fussy cut all the way so that both are still intact so when I come to it I can figure out what it is I want all right I'm gonna put him to the left just a little bit I don't think I liked him quite in the center I like things a little bit off center I like things off kilter because I'm off kilter and then everything just seems more even keeled me pretty much well that I said that to shell in, in our group the other day shell is um the rambling crafter she she and clint and if you have not checked them out i hope you will they are really close to seven thousand subscribers they're really down to earth kind of people and they make me laugh all the time. They're because they make each other laugh, and 
So she does the uh, junk journaling, the paper bits, and he does uh, some quilting and whatnot. And also, uh, Shell started out in mixed media, I believe. And so she does some watercoloring, and sometimes she'll show us her journal and all the things. And I just, I just love them. I do. And okay, so if you're a praying person, you can pray for Gail Augustinelli right now. If you are part of her channel, you know that she was having surgery. And I know she was hoping to get her videos ahead, but one didn't go up today, so. And her surgery was the next day after the last video, which I don't remember what day that was supposed to be. So that means she's not feeling up to snuff yet. So, all right, what do we think? I'm very critical of myself, so I don't know. Do we need a little tag on the top? Let me see. Is this the... I think it is. Yes. So I also have this coffee dyed sage green. Because my colors, or if you did not see the previous video, well, why not, for one. But the color scheme for that was kind of these bright greens, which I could tone down a little bit with some Distress Ink. So that's not a big deal. And the oranges. So this is just a darker orange here. And then this sage green kind of is a darker version of that. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Spiders and spider webs, which I need. That's what I was looking for, that stamp. I don't think that I put it away. It just doesn't seem like something I would do. So I had um I had to get a minimum of two yards of of this fabric. So let's see. I don't need a very alright, let's do that. And I also have some black um, ticking somewhere. That's not it, though, is it? No, that's the sage green that's not dyed. Somewhere I have some black ticking, which will also show up in here. But I haven't copy dyed that because I can just. Yes, no, maybe so. No, that one doesn't work for that. Um, this orange is a little too bright. And I don't have any green on there. Didn't I have some brown of some sort? Nope. Alright, might not put anything on the top of that. Not for right now. I mean, it's a journal card. Don't really need it. So I'll put some coffee dyed paper on the back of that. And there's one journaling card. Okay, what else can we do? Alright, this is a side pocket. Oh, I had an idea. For... Where did it go? I got some of that paper lace in my haul. There it is. So I thought I would use it on here, but I would make it all grungy. You know what I'm saying? So, let me get my paper. Let me get my um, So I thought this might be cute. Either I could do it on the belly band or the pocket, or both, which kind of brings them together. All right, I think I'm gonna either need more of this or I'm gonna need, I might wanna use the uh, espresso, which I may, we'll see. Just for the edges, maybe. Let's get our espresso out a little bit. I think this has black on it, but that's all right. It's dusty. I haven't used that one in a while. Probably does have some black on it, but that's okay. Because, you know, it's Halloween journal. Do we want it to be all pretty? I don't think so. This one I try to always use for my... Which, all right, so do we want to do that on the belly band? And it's going to be fully sticky, so it has to go all... I have a different one I might use on the belly band. I'll have to do it on the pocket for now. And let's see. I wonder if there's a way that I could pull off the sticky part but not pull... I want it to come off the edge a little bit. Of course, whatever edge I do, that's the way the pocket's going to have to go. So I will just have it face in. That's what I'll do. All right. See if I can get the 
the backing off of here. Yeah, there were like four rolls of four different, um, somebody got rid of some scrapbooking stuff. And I couldn't hardly tell what was in the bag, so it was kind of a mystery bag. Why do you hate me? Not you, this paper. It's what I say when something won't go my way. There we go, yay! That side liked me better. So I tend to do kind of an eclectic. Oh, these little bits didn't come out, but you know what? I don't care because it doesn't have to be perfect. That could be the horror. So those bits didn't come out. Oh, the horror! Well, that's kind of cute. Now what do we want to put on there? I don't think the number's going to be too big, isn't it? Oh, not really. I put a six, then I could put my pocket either way, just the words would be upside down. And you would never know that, you know, only if you look at the, uh, the words would you know that it's, is upside down. Because, you know, six, nine, six of one, half a dozen of the other. So we have our grungy number. You will see a lot of these grungy numbers in here. I like grungy numbers, but I cannot lie. Do you know what else I might do right here? First, let's see. I just want a little bit. Maybe. Maybe I should do it on something bigger. I'm curious as to how this is going to look over, over this. Like, just a little bit of it. Let me see. <laughs> always cover it if I don't like it. I can barely see it. <laughs> don't hate it. I'll try it darker on another one. I'll need one of my brushes for that though. But I mean it's so light I can't even probably um, probably wouldn't even be able to line it up. I don't think. Hold on. Where's, oh this would be easier to rub. Okay. That didn't sound right. But yeah, I can't even really line it up. So I'm just going to... Do it at the top a little bit. Yeah, I think there's such small things you can hardly... It just made it look a little more grungy, that's all. I'll try it on a bigger one and see what happens. All right, so I was thinking of a six. And maybe a mushroom. Something tall. Where's a nice, that one's too wide. Might have to be something like this. Oh yeah, I guess the mushroom would determine where it needs to go. Let's go out tonight. I don't know why that song gets in my head. It's such a weird song to have in your head. Especially when I don't even want to go out anywhere. You know, it's so weird. I'm weird, I know, I'm aware. I'm okay with it. I just don't want to overthink this all my life. All my days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I want the pocket to go that way. I think I like the six to ground it a little bit. And I might want this a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And um, well, I don't want it to be right in the middle. What else? Anything? Anything? Bueller? Bueller? I don't even know how I'm going to do belly band. I am not good with belly bands. Seriously. Is she? 
He's nice and tall. I kind of like. And if the branches get cut off, that's okay. Ooh, I like him. Okay. Switching gears, switching gears. He's nice and tall. Fills up the whole thing. We'll just make sure that we get all of him on there. And then we can cut off the branches if we need to. Woohoo! All right, speaking of branches, I know it's a birch, but too, too bright. It's just too bright. I don't want to get it too dark. All right. Well, I think I want to turn it this way just because his shoulder, well, I could just fix that. I'm like, his shoulders cut a little funny. Oh, well, I guess I could fix that, couldn't I? Oh, but I like it that way better anyway. All right, so if we want to put anything behind him, because we have the lace already, where'd my six go? Could put him up here. And could put that. Sometimes I like it to do both. Okay, and then I could just put this down here. Is that too much? It's kind of busy, isn't it? covers up the six quite a bit. All right, we'll just move him down. We might still put the six. We might not put the six. I don't know. We could put this a little bit behind his head. Nope, because I like the dark against him, so. You know what? He just might go by himself. Sometimes it's okay to not layer a million things. But there'll be stuff in the pocket, so, you know. So, we got a couple owls. Oh, come on. You know how I said I'd try to put my pin in the same place every time? I'm pretty sure I just threw it over there somewhere, didn't I? Yes, no, maybe so. Mm, nope, it's over here still. Oh, that's why it's doing this, because I didn't put it back on. I want to try to get that out, otherwise I'm just going to be pushing it back down in. I can see where it started to, what, congeal? I don't know what you call it. Guys, try to keep that down, please. I am recording. Sorry if I yelled. They don't always know when I'm recording. We try to respect each other's recording times. There we go. Oh, you want to go a different way, huh? Is that what you're saying? You don't know what you're saying. You're an owl. There we go. So, sometimes, just something tall on the side pocket works nicely. I like that. All right. Nice and grungy looking. And... He still could go left or right, so I'm not. I I wanted to round the corners, but if he goes this side, I'd want around these corners, and if he goes on this side, I'd want around these corners. So I'll wait until I know which side. Now what? We have these two pockets. That's what these are. Pockets. So we could do a wider mushroom on one of these. Dum, dum, da, dum, 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 da, dum, da, dum. And this is a nice coordinating color. We definitely need something behind it though. That's a big, that is a big butterfly. It might be too big for this. Let's see. I have a few of those. Those were the graphics fairy, I think. Oh my goodness, why? Mm -hmm. Are you going out? Mm -hmm. Are you taking my car? Mm -hmm. Okay. Be safe. Joel has his own car, but. My husband was in a car accident on March in March and hasn't we haven't replaced that car yet. So Joel has been gracious enough to let us use but um his dad used that car. So just too much. Too busy. Too busy. Too busy. I still haven't found my stamps. I mean I haven't looked real hard. I know it's gotta be over here somewhere. Ooh. 
Do we want to do this? That's the flat side, right? Oh, that's on the back. Um, no, not right now. Okay. This one is an option. Um, oh, he's so cute. We're gonna go an owl heavy in here though, aren't we? Where are my kids? I think my kids might all be. I don't know. It's not necessarily Halloween, but it's kind of scary because he's trying to put. And I don't need to keep the word. Let me see. Oh, the problem is my fussy cut scissors are. I think they're on the floor. Not on the floor. My basket of the stuff I was fussy cutting fell over. So they are. Ooh, maybe we'll do that one. I'm going out later. What's wrong? I'm going out later. Oh, you're not going out right now? I don't know. Maybe we'll put this on here. I think that might be cute. You know, a mushroom could still coordinate a little bit. It's just a giant mushroom. Going with an owl theme, apparently. Not meaning to go with an owl theme. Alright, where is my... Alright, this one is not the Ossenberg. This is muslin, which that's okay. Where is it? I can't tell anymore. It feels like the muslin. But this is what I just tore off of, isn't it? What did I have? Nope, this is muslin, for sure. For sure and for certain. So are you just going for a walk now? I don't know, you have your hat on. I thought you were going out and then you're like, no. Okay. I'll concern myself with that later, I guess. Hey. So this is coffee dyed muslin. Let's go ahead and Ink this up a little bit, see what happens. And then somewhere here I have some other grungy paper that I want to use. So let me find out what happened to that. It's in my pile of scraps that I had ready to go, which are, hey, look what I found. Oops. And a doily and a pile of scraps. I think this is the pile of scraps, but there's that, there's that, there's that. What was I looking for? Ooh, forgot about labels. I have labels. Yay. Okay, some paper. Where are the brown labels? The other brown labels. The brown number labels. Oh, you know what I forgot I have here too? Is um these. Yay. <laughs> this Four little potty covers. It was brand new in a package that came. Oh my goodness, little fancy shoes. In, um, I think it was in the stuff with all, it was in one of the packages. You can't see everything inside. But it, um, I think it is great for putting paint on because then you have, it makes it splotchy, like nice and splotchy for when you want to do a little splotchy. Let's see. Or, you know. Do a little green, unless that will be too busy. Yeah, it might be too busy. All right, I just had. Oh, here we go. I had. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I was thinking about using. I cut this down for a tag, but I think I will use it for. Some background for now, I and mean, they can always print more. This is part of that grunge um, numbers, grunge numbers. It's got like post postage, and oh yeah, that reminds me. I also have stamps I could use. Mm -hmm. Also have some brown number labels that I had here. Oh well, I had brown regular labels, and the brown number labels will show up. And then these, I don't know if they were a freebie with something or. 
if they were in one of the groups, like freebie in the group. It was free, whatever it was. And I was thinking that one of these would also work. <sighs> Word. Sorry, 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 sorry. We still somewhat, okay. All right, but I was gonna use this. So let's go ahead and use this. I don't want it quite as long as this though. So I don't want it too short either. And I think I'm gonna put it on its side. Oh, I don't know. All right, so if we put that, which is a little bit on the long side. There we go. Maybe. Put that and that. Do you remember which mushroom we're using? And that. Hmm. What if I put that upside down? No. What if I put a lighter piece? Do I want it lighter? Hmm. I might want it a little bit lighter. Just because it'll show up more. Where's this? this has a little bit of lightness to it. Or I want it thinner. I don't know. I don't think I'd want One of these pieces, but I just need it lighter on the top. On the bottom, we can have that little stamp thing happening. Move it over. All right, that and then. I don't know what that says. Let's get stamps because I forgot. I need to use some of these stamps. And I don't know what I. I don't really want this right in the middle, but. I don't know, it seems weird to have all that open over there. So a label might be what I need. Might be what I need. Oh, and I keep forgetting that I have my small box of smalls. Where'd it go? I don't know. I don't know where it went. Okay, so we've got like an orangey, brownie, black, not really green right now. might be too matchy. Oh, come on. Why are you hitting me? That might be blend in too much. Let's see. What else do we have here? What the heck is that? Apri... Oh, it's a, f oh, it's a fishing fly. Purple, some dark green, um, and that's it that's in there. I mean, those are mostly flags. These are colorful. That's love. Those are all people. Those are purple. Did I have my greens in here or my greens in the other? I should have turned some of these around. Oh, the greens were in here. There. Let's see, where's my thing? What kind of green are we looking for here? I mean, it doesn't have to match perfectly. I do realize that. I just, a lot of these are more teal than green. Arctic exploration. Let's put that green one over there. What I want are my animals. Where are my animals? Because I think I have like some foxes and I think there's even an owl too. So let me look in my other book real quick. Okay, the fact that I can find these books is a little bit of a miracle. I actually put this one on my desk. I do have a video as to, oh, there's the brown ones. There's well, these brown ones, there's like a million of them. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, this is kind of a yellowy tan y color. That's a good color. Let's see what color labels do I have here? I have red and blue. Not what I was hoping for. Broad wagon, that's kind of a good color for what we're doing. 
Those are my train ones. Got windmills, got the states, got some pinks. That's it. Okay. I have a million more stamps, but I'm not gonna go look for them right now. Okay, so. I could even, oh, I might do this on this side. You know, just mess with y'all's heads. <laughs> start on one side, end up on the other side. And I'm gonna start not way to the edge. I'm gonna not be in the middle. It's still gonna be off center a little bit. But, ooh, unless I, no, I want that that way, okay. I'm gonna put that there. This is my fabric, 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 fabric fix again. And since we're going on the fabric, I'm going to go ahead. And, oh, yep. I know. I remember. Thank you for reminding me. There we go. Or did I already do it? I don't know. I can't tell. So I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Especially since some of it's going to be going on the um, lighter color. It'll help it stand out even more, hopefully. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that. And then he is all the way on there. And since this is go, I mean, I could still use art glitter glue on this. It would be fine. Yay! Fell over drunk. And this is just how I choose to do it. I'm lining it up so that that paper is only on one side and it doesn't come out on this side just because that's how I wanted to. I don't know why. That's just what I wanted to do. What do you think? I must have put it over here. No, I think it needs to be either brighter or darker. Didn't I have an orangey one? T.S. Eliot. Hmm. Yep, that might be the problem. I got my steps yesterday, my minimum steps. It's not a lot, but it's my minimum steps. And that's probably why my knee hurts today. So I was going to go grocery shopping, but now I can't because I did too much yesterday. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm kind of going to tuck him underneath the grass there a little bit. Grass, moss, I don't know what it is. But whenever I'm able to tuck, I kind of like to. So like if an edge doesn't get put down, I'll use that to my advantage. Or sometimes I'll even remember to not glue that bit. Sometimes, not always. All right, so now we have a pocket. So we have a journaling card, a pocket, a side pocket. And how are we on time? Yeah, we still have a little bit of time. Wow, okay, let's see. We've done a pocket, so now I guess let's go to a tag. One of, one of our six by three by six. I don't know. You're supposed to do a cross and down or down and across. I know on my little grid I did it so that I could, um, what's the word that I want? Oh, so that I would know which I, I did. Oh my goodness. Uh, I did up and then across just so I would know. Oh, that's a shadow. I can come all the way over. This is also from uh, my porch prints, the uh, grunge. A little more gray than brown, but that's all right. A little bit of a, uh, a little bit of this will take care of that. And then it'll be more in keeping with the colors you already have. And then if you have stuff that's like a grayish color, you're glad that it's more gray. But it's it's light color, so you can adjust it to be how you want. 
So I'm just going to put this on here. You will see a lot of these papers, the grunge papers, in my Halloween one, I'm sure. Let's see. I like the bottom better than the top. I don't mind that the cut top gets cut off. I don't. And since this is a tall tag, what this does is it helps to not make it look like I put something at the bottom and left the top like with no thought. You know what I'm saying? Because this brings your eye up to the top, I guess. I don't know. You don't know what I'm talking about. Hee hee hee. But then I have a hint of that without it being all orange all the time. So there's that too. I think it looks kind of cool. I like that. Now, who are we putting on here? We're going to put a mushroom, an owl, I think, or, or um, let's see, what do we have for butterfly? I think our fall kids are a little too big. They can go on pages maybe, but they're a little on the big side. We've got those leaves. Have a number seven. We have enough numbers on there. We need something tall ish. We could. I just like them. They're orangey and fun, but they don't go with that necessarily. One of these butterflies might, but they're just too big for this. You're too wide. You are. Hmm. See, the ones that have a bug in their mouth, they work <laughs> for this particular. Thing. Where did I put my other, where did my other birds go? Bird, 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 it's bird, 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 and the bird, bird, bird. Oh, these are what I keep forgetting about, by the way. I guess I haven't decided if I want to go spooky or cute, maybe. These are small, though. Let's see. so small. Wish there was a bigger set like this. I like these because they're not glossy. <sighs> Wish I knew what happened to my birds. I had uh, another owl and a crow. Are they under here? Nope. One of my mushrooms is though. Um, oh, you know what I could do though. Butterflies are too big, but I could do half of a butterfly. Not that one, though. Oh, like a big, big butterfly. Like, just, I don't know. Let me see what he looks like. These actually were harder to cut out than you'd think. Because <laughs> there's, like, no black line to follow, and you're just trying to follow. But that's all right. Like I said, these were from the graphics fairy. I'm thinking I can always put something over, like something else. Maybe it's too big. Let's try you. Sometimes you just can't tell if you're gonna like it till you do put some ink on the edges. Um. You have like circles going on. What if? Don't worry, it won't stay white. Well, we're gonna do this anyway, so let's check it out. And I want it a little bit darker on the edges. We'll use some of this, but well, all the browns will get used in the coffee journal. I've got a coffee journal that's trying to get made. <laughs> it's taking its time. But that's all right. I don't know. Part of me just wants to leave it plain. 
part of me wants to put something on there. Well, you know, we could go the opposite direction and just put like a little butterfly. Let's get the rest of these out. Brown tag. Where'd my brown tags go? There's red tags. That doesn't help me. Look, now I'll find some of the... No, I didn't, though. Some of the birds, I was going to say. No. You know, um, for now, I'm going to leave this as it is, but I am going to put my... Um, so I just flipped it over, make sure I still have it the long way. And then sometimes I go back over here because I just do a tiny sliver. Because when I do that, it comes out a little bit further, so. And I don't know yet what I'll do for a top. I'll figure that out. Oh, also, I was going to go ahead and distress it, wasn't I? That's the vintage photo. And I'll back this with some coffee dyed paper. Hmm. Do I need this to be a little bit darker? I do. But I want to do both. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do the, especially on this side, I just, and now I will do a little bit of the, I'm going to double ink as a Pam on the Paper Outpost. She's got her own YouTube channel too, very large following, she's very popular on YouTube. Um, it has a uh, Facebook page or group or I don't know what it is now. Okay, so I just kind of like that tag the way it is for right now. One, two, three, four. Can we do one more thing? We did a journaling card, two pockets. Oh, I guess we should try to do that belly band. <sighs> I'm not a big fan of belly bands. It's other people who really like the belly bands. Not me so much. You want to be on the belly band? Is that what you're trying to say? enough now it's like it was wide enough but now it's not where'd my glue go oh, seriously I mean it probably oh no it didn't fall over it's just behind the other glue oh my stinking word okay, I'm actually gonna put this one at the top because it's a little bit bigger you can hear Nathan downstairs he's uh Making, oh, you know what? I have an idea about this. I don't know how it'll end up looking, but I'm gonna try it. Also, go down. Just curious to see how this will look. So, I'm taking a chance, I'm just putting it down. Might kind of look like spider webs. I don't know. Kind of, sorta. This is just going to be kind of a background. So yeah, here Nathan hammering downstairs on I think Minecraft. Minecraft or Terraria. I think they both do building of sorts. Cut off my edges. I mean, you can go over on a belly band. That's the kind of the beauty of it. You start thin and then, you know, you put what you want on it. So this is just my background and I might set it aside, aside to dry and then figure out what I want to add to it. Hmm. One more little bit right here. A lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There. You never know if you're gonna like something until you try. 
And I think some of these, like the creepy hand with no, <laughs> no body. All right, I'm gonna put that belly band to the side for a minute. And where's our mini tag? Here we go. A little mini tag. I'm gonna go ahead and, which way? Oh, this actually goes sideways, but that's okay. Our flowers will just be sideways. That's just how it will be. Because, you know, a lot of us, we like to have, I'm actually gonna cut right on the edge, so that way does come out more even. Okay. So, a little mini tag. Oh, now I can maybe use some of these little um, mini Tim Holtz ephemera. Ah, no wonder I wanted to do the mini tag. Now we know why. It was a method to my madness, apparently. Oh, they're in Paris. I guess that wouldn't be. That almost actually seems a little big, doesn't it? So we have that clock on that other one. It's too big, too. Ha! Huh. Mail, eh. Mail, here's the mail. It never fails. Ooh, that's a bigger hand. These hands are creepy, man. Is that just me? Or does anybody else feel the same? I saw some black numbers. Where are they? There's red. There's blue. There's one. And anything else? Don't really want flowers, do we? What if we take one of these? And ink him up. And uh, stick him on there with a little number. Oops. Trying to come up the tag. So often I'm just like way down on the bottom of the tag. Or, um,. Yeah, I'm trying not to be like right down in the bottom. I'm trying to adjust my, I don't want to be exactly in the middle either necessarily. I want it to be not all over the place, but see now that's a little dark. So now I feel like I need to brighten it up a little bit with something. With one cent. Somebody's phone is ringing. Probably my husband tried to call me and couldn't get in. But my son never answers his phone, so. All right, I think that's what I'm gonna do. A little espresso around the edge here. What time is it? It's after one. Oh, I never took my pills. 2.18. I'm still not putting them exactly in the center. But I'm going up the card a little bit as I have a really bad habit of not doing that. So. Put her down here. And layer this little black number. <laughs> Literally, it's a number. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me chuckle, but it does. Cut off my edges so we can see what it really looks like. I think once I get in the groove, I actually starting to uh, enjoy it a little bit more. So then we have our little mini tag. So how are we on time? Oh, we're over now. So we still have, or I still have, and if you did this along with me, you might've gone faster. I still have, uh, so I have one pocket done and one pocket to do and one tag done and one tag to do large journaling card down done small journaling card to do belly band to finish but you know we've got all these little things over here so you know they might end up on there we'll see or i don't know maybe i'll put some of those Ooh, they might be fun 
what if we just kind of have some of these going up? They'd come off the page a little bit, but that'd be okay. All right, so yeah, when you come back, you might see that there's butterflies on our belly band. That, and I'll, I'll just do them in the middle and kind of put their wings up a little bit so that people could still get it in the belly band. It might not be these butterflies, but it might be something. So that's a thought. And then, was that everything? We got the mini tag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that how many pieces we're supposed to have? I feel like I lost something in translation here. Oh, nine, side pocket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What am I missing? Uh, they got the four by three and the mini tag, the two larger tags, the side pocket, the belly band, that. Oh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I have. There's another four by three card here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I'm like losing my mind. Ooh. So this could be. I'll put that in the tag pile. It could be a small tag. So we have a small journaling card, small tag, your tag. So this one was a tag heavy one.